Well, one of the things, can you talk about, and I, and I know Elon Musk and others have talked about this, why would having a self-driving car mean I wouldn't have to park it? Yeah, that's What's a the great car point. doing if I'm not parking it? I think that, that some people don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, so that it's, it's the utilization, right? Most of the time, the way cars are right now, they're just sitting there most of the time, whether mm -hmm. they're you know, at night, sleep while you're sleeping or while you're at work. But most of the time, our vehicles are sitting there. However, when you can utilize, increase the utilization of a vehicle to where it's always driving from somebody from point A to point B, then you can, you can drive the cost down because they become more efficient. So now these vehicles become a way for the cost of tra that same transportation to be much less and it becomes commercialized. So when you commercialize it, that means the impact amongst everyone becomes less. So the cost per mile to travel from point A to point B in a self-driving vehicle becomes much less than the cost of owning a vehicle, maintaining it, and you know parking it there for eight, twenty—I don't know how many hours a day a car average, on average sits there in your driveway. So, so when, like when for... the cost goes down, in theory, what happens is the a rate of adoption goes way up quicker, and so, that's where. So I... I think one of the things that when I first heard this, uh, and Elon Musk was saying, oh, you have self-driving cars. So you buy yourself a Tesla with a self-driving car, and then when they start having um, these taxi services go around that can drive by themselves, you put your car onto this network, and then when you're at home and you're not using the car, you, you let it go out and drive people. So it be becomes a robot driver that you can earn some income off of the car while it's driving. So it's actually making money to help offset the cost of, of you owning the car. That's like level one. Level two is companies just go ahead and buy these cars and run them themselves. And because they're running them 24 seven, they're not paying a driver anymore. So Uber drivers beware. But I mean, you're, you're able then to basically drive down costs because the amount of money you make per vehicle can go up, which means they can make more money off of a smaller investment of, of capital. And therefore it becomes more accessible to people by being able to drive down the actual cost of taking one of these cars somewhere. And therefore I don't have to buy a car for the convenience because there's a convenient network out there that's affordable that can take me places. Is that what well, that's that, kind of that, what we're talking about, right? 